Alrighty. So, what we need to do... Let's go back to Mariazzi. Get that. Let's go to Bob. Put this on. Come on, Bob. <laughs> All righty. So let's go to Mary's gifts. And we want Actually I think I know what I need to do. I remember. Can we call Charlena? Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlene Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novels, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels... <sighs> Never mind. Hmm. Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking to you. Catch you later. The initials on this trunk. Whose are they? Do you know? I have no idea. Hmm. I thought you were supposed to call Charlena at this time. Okay. I swear you were supposed to. Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlene Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest oh. novel, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels... <sighs> Never mind. What? Okay. I think I need to do this. So. I got the trunk open. Great. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead and take something from it. You deserve a reward. So it's four nine eleven. If I want something else from the trunk, I should put back what I took before. If I want oh, something Nancy, else from the trunk, I should put back what I took before. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how you open this. Easy. We need this. That was from Bingo. the other uh, pocket watch. There we go. Oh man. Green bottle under... Hmm, wonder what that means. Green bottle under... Hmm. That is a good question. We do not know what that means. So let's do that. Let me call Charlena again. I'm out of my mind. 
Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? Concerning? I'm staying at her ranch in central Arizona, and since she knows so much about the history of Arizona, I thought maybe she could answer some questions for me. Questions concerning? Well, I came across a very old trunk that might contain stuff that has to do with these people named Dirk Valentine and Francis Humber. Only I can't open it. Did you say Dirk Valentine? And his girlfriend, Francis Humber, yes. Huh. But would you hold, please? Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novels, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels, it recently received the Catherine Coop Award for Historical Excellence. Reading a Charlena Purcell novel is like traveling through time to the Old Southwest on the wings of love. This is Charlena. Who is this again? Uh, Nancy Drew. Tell me about the trunk you found. Well... The lock seems to have something to do with this image that's engraved on the trunk right above it. Describe the image. It's this kind of abstract design made up of hearts and doves and the initials E.H. and A.H. E.H. would be Eldridge Humber and A.H. would be Abigail Humber. Frances Humber's grandparents on her father's side. Her mother died when she was ten. Now, the picture no doubt commemorates their wedding day, which was... 4-9-11. April 9th, 1811. Yeah. So what I did for that puzzle. Those numbers must have something to do with the directions in which those wrenches need to be pointing. I'm afraid I wouldn't know. In the course of my research, I've only read about the trunks Merrill and Eldridge Humber handcrafted. I've never actually opened one. However... I've been running across fascinating tidbits concerning the Humber family and stashing them away for years. When I have enough tidbits stashed away, I may well write a book about them. Then you'd probably be very interested to know what's in this trunk. Yes, I would. And since I've helped you, or tried to, it's only fair that you help me, don't you think? Sure, I'll keep you posted. Did I mention that I'm staying at Shadow Ranch? This just gets better and better. I'll tell my assistant to put your calls through immediately. By the way, why are you so interested in the Humbers? Knowing more about them and what happened in the past may help me figure out something that's going on in the present. I'm kind of a detective. That makes two of us. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Hmm. Can I call Bess? Hello? Me again. What's the status of your plane? Nobody will tell us a thing. And now a bunch of really dark clouds are rolling in. What's going on with you, Nan? Has either of you two ever read anything by an author named Charlena Purcell? She writes romance novels that take place in the Old West. That rules me out. I saw her on a talk show once. Seemed kind of full of herself. Why do you ask? I had to call her in order to open this old trunk at Mary Yazzie's. She knows a lot about the people who used to live at Shadow Ranch. I bet I know more about 19th century clothing design than she does. I found a locket that belonged to Francis Humber. It had a picture in it with the words Green Bottle Under written on the back. Maybe the bottle's a clue to where Valentine's loot is hidden. Could be. Although I'm really not sure how. If we're right, and Francis never found that treasure. Well, that green bottle obviously meant something to her. I think you should find it first and ask questions later. Hmm. That's it for now. Stay in touch. That's an order. Alrighty, so... I don't want to lug this saddle around all day. I should put it back. Oops. Hold up. Let's let's do what Nancy says. So that we don't get yelled at by text. Need something? Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. Whatever you say, Batman. Oh. And she'll be coming around the mountain when she goes. You lay. I can't take any more. Where are you going? You can't leave. The Raleigh said we were to have a cookout and entertain our guest. Yeah, well, I don't call this entertainment. 
It's worse than whatever that stuff was you cooked. That was lamb ragu for your information, and it was great! If you couldn't appreciate it, it's because your taste buds are about as sophisticated as a sand fleas. I think I'll turn in, too. Night, ma'am. Next time, just stick to burgers. At two, Brute? You see that? You see what I put up with? Day in and day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful, uncultured swine. Well, I'll show them. I'll write a best-selling cookbook, that's what I'll do. Then I'll get my own TV show, then I'll do a movie, and while they're out here punching cattle, I'll become a gazillionaire. Wow, he's doing all these things. Oh my gosh. Is that? It's the horse. Alrighty. And you say this happened right after that phantom horse showed up again? The pump house blew just as the horse was galloping away. Oh my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. I'm more inclined to think that someone is using that horse to divert attention. What do you mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Why on earth would someone sabotage the pump house? Someone may be trying to chase you off the ranch. But why? That, I don't know. Yet. You don't think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do you? It's possible, but I just don't know yet. Oh, my. You might not be safe there. Maybe we should send her home. I'll be fine. Really, I want to help. And I can help. Well, it sounds like we could certainly use your help. Can you think of any reason why someone might want you off the ranch? No, but I'll tell you what. Ed and I will put our thinking caps on, and if anything comes to us, we'll call you. Have you called the sheriff and told him all this? Not yet. Tell her about the storm. Tell me about the what? The storms. You need to be careful when you go riding, because it can be sunny one minute and pouring down rain the next. I'll be careful. Good. And if you have any more questions, just call. One more thing. Until I figure out what's going on, it would probably be a good idea not to mention my suspicions to anyone at the ranch. Of course. Keep in touch. I will. Bye. <laughs>